Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading for October 18th to the 20th of 2019. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Taurus, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shoveled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Ace of Pentacles, Taurus. This is a really good card. Earth energy, which is your element. This is a gateway, gateway card. That's what that little hedge represents there. And look, it's leading towards a beautiful mountain. Safety, security, beauty, and pleasure. This is a card of a new beginning and could be a gift. It's new money and new success, new opportunity. This is health and vitality. It's an opportunity for real growth. This can be a new job opportunity, a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building the foundation for the future. This is a new beginning in a financial situation. And you're going to benefit by spending time in nature. You can find fresh inspiration there. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. You're about to experience some great accomplishment. And you're feeling motivated and you're ready for a challenge. Your second card. And this is the energy crossing over your path can be a challenge. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This can be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could be in your chart prevalently. It would, could also be you or someone else. This is a card of bondage and temptation. It's an earthy person. This is can be bondage to physical forms or mental or separate thoughts or egocentric ideas. This is someone being trapped in a reality that inhibits the ability to grow, create, and develop. The divine energy is dormant. You may find yourself in a position which you might have given up your will and be obsessed by desire. This is someone that needs to set boundaries, but you can bring light into a negative situation. This can be bondage to things like drugs, or anything you're overdoing too much, um, television, the phone, your, your uh, internet. It's people that can be chained by greed. It would bring repression and illusions. It can be illusions of helplessness, which restrict you and bring fear. It can be lust and addictions, anger, emotional games. It's serving what enslaves you. It could be the need uh, to, you might have a need to control others. You'll need to set boundaries against users and takers. And now here's your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Number 14 of the Major Arcana, Temperance. This can be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And because you do have the Knight of Wands next to the Sagittarius there, that's another double reference to Sagittarius. This is adapting and tempering. It's blending, it's having patience, and using compromise, it's making adjustments, it's using your self-control, it's working in harmony with others, and compromise instead of battle. It's never going to one extreme or the other, and having control over your own life. Seeing both sides of the story and sharing control, it's adapting to new situations, 
it's having victory over doubts and rigidities, and it also advises a cautious attitude. This is the ability to combine different elements in life, such as work and pleasure, love and sex, feelings and action, openness and confidence. There's a need to have patience for events surrounding you as they play out. It's something that you've already begun, and now there's nothing else you can do but go with the flow and have patience and watch for these things to play out around you. You're going to feel content, and you have a harmonious relationship. The devil with the temperance card, this is someone falling off the wagon, or vice versa, they could be abstaining from addiction. This can be a new situation that ceases to be new, and it's um, stabilization in a life cycle, and becoming aware of routines. It's a time of feeling calm and being on an even keel. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Knight of Wands, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Knights are travel cards. They can indicate the coming or going of a matter. This can also be the change of residence or a journey. So, someone that's impatient, they are full of vigor, they're hasty. This can also mean a change of residence, immigration, or quick departure. This is eagerness and self-confidence that they don't always know where they're going because without concrete plans, they can burn out before they achieve their goals. This can be someone bringing news about uh, any kind of anticipated happy event, the journey you might go on, or a vacation, or that change of residence, or the new job, or maybe even engagement, or marriage. The temperance with the Knight of Wands, this can be those pleasure-seeking impulses that will be, they will be triumphed by pain avoidance instincts. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Eight of Wands, Taurus. More fire energy. Now this is a card of speed, action messages, uh, arrows of love. It's a busy, exciting time. It's full of surprises and opportunities. Some of these may be once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, so it's up to you to choose. There is a particular risk, so do not act cocky about it, or you may lose it. This is a sudden burst of energy. It can be relationship messages coming and about to go forward. This can be travel, air travel. It's being in the flow, it's movement and action and things happening rapidly. Positive things unfolding, and it's the end of the way. This can be uh, messages, letters of love, Cupid's arrows. It's being in love and infatuation. This card highlights and intensifies all around it. This is a rapid and swift development with a conclusion. It's being in motion, things that are already set into motion, and being and staying energetically in the flow. You're going to feel the need to be up and doing things, activities with these new beginnings. can also indicate um, those travel and moves. Uh, can can also mean someone that's close will be married. Um, could be a love affair about to occur or something sudden and unexpected. New text message, messages. Someone's poised to hit the target. So continue on with your plans. You may be making your move. And this is going to be a quick turn of events. Now the temperance with the Eight of Wands, this can be someone involved in civil discourse can also indicate long-distance travel. 
Oh, the the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. This is good news. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles with the Devil. This can have to do with uh, a situation and not a person. It could represent someone's fear or fear of greed. The Ace of Pentacles with the Devil. And the Ace of Pentacles with the Temperance. This is healing after an illness or stress. Can also indicate someone getting some exercise. Okay, here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides. By Sonia Choquette. Taurus, you've got shame, card number 35, from your Divine Healer guides. Shame. Has to do with judgment and severity, self-loathing and poverty. You're at risk of falling under the spell of self-criticism because of poor choices or learned behavior, and this is bringing on the energy of shame. You can always tell when this soul-deadening vibration is present because it causes you to unconsciously pull back from others and the loving support of the universe and become isolated. It's quite possible at this time to believe that the world is against you, making you want to hide, withdraw, or push it away. Nothing could be further from the truth. You are your own worst enemy at this time, as the universe never stops loving or supporting you. Nor have the people around you stopped loving you, even if you've made terrible mistakes. After all, we're all guilty of this at times. Your divine healers surround you, holding you in affection and unconditional love, as you struggle to regain your self-esteem. They ask you to remember that being here on earth is like being in a classroom. You're here to progress, and you'll make many mistakes along the way. And that's part of your learning process and necessary for your growth. Your divine healers ask you to open your heart and forgive your mistakes. There's no mistake too great or nor error, any error so grave that it can't be forgiven. Pray for them to help you rise above your self-criticism and re-enter the flow of the universe. Make an effort to see yourself with the same love they see you with. Stop judging yourself and make amends and apologies where necessary and then move on their message to you live and learn thanks you guys taurus i hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up and please subscribe now remember what goes around comes around so i'm sending you out love and light